and we're live again another another day with two videos what's going on <laughs> welcome to another simply diagnostics video courtesy of www.simplydiag.net the invested community the community for invested professional technicians of all skill levels good afternoon another bright and sunny day here in cheshire steve is like a pig in muck we've got another french car with a fault so let me just show you we've got these fault codes with with uh, code reddit using the fantastic arty pad from top down from diagnosticconnections.co.uk and we've got these faults c255d c256c c2561 c256d hey up brian how are you so this vehicle let me show you this vehicle has had a new epb actuator and we've got fault code so what we've done hey up stephen hey up george's hey up brian hey up ball mechanic so we've got another wiring diagram here courtesy of uh, all data app.alldata.com um, we uh, at the simply diag network we try and encourage all our technicians to to have a, an active paid subscription to all data it really is brilliant because it's oe information straight from the manufacturer in your right. eye hey up michael i am busy mate so what we can see here is if I just go up a tad wrong way what we can see there 7097 is our right hand actuator 7096 is the left and 7800 is the ABS module okay so we've got 7097 we can clearly see that pins 1 and 4 um, are the motor so that'll be they they will reverse one will be uh, positive one will be negative when it's being actuated and then the other way around the help rick <laughs> paul and then pins two and three we should have on them one will be uh, a power and one will be a signal i would imagine um or a power in the ground or what i don't know we don't know what we're going to expect on pins two and three but we've got a fault code for sensor okay yeah it's brilliant all, all day it really is it's an absolute no-brainer so what we're really interested in is pins two and three and we don't know what we're going to find on it okay because there's nothing there that tells us but what we have got we've got one side that doesn't work and one side that's got no faults so we've got no goods here on this side so let's quickly go and have a look so the key is on i've got it jacked up and i've got an axle stand underneath and the spare wheel so if it falls i'm not going to crush my beautiful head let's crawl underneath and what you can see up there is if i can get you get you in shot i need to get you there I don't know whether you can whether you can see that. Well, I'll show you clearly on the side. We've got a big thick blue wire, a red wire, and a brown wire, and then a big thick white wire. We've got four pins. Okay. The one I'm interested in is that red wire. Okay. I've got that connected up there, back probed, and then I've got a body ground here. It's not the best ground in the world, but it is a ground. Okay. And what I can see. It's using me Verus. I've got 10 volts. Okay. So the other wire is actually a ground at this time, or it's at zero volts, let's put it that way. So I need I need I need to find 10 volts on that red wire. So let's go over to the other side of the vehicle. I'll just take that. I'll take that off there. And if you come with me, sorry for all the shaky jakiness. But we're still not we're still not over with the with the whole gimbal thing. Okay, I don't want to give too much away just yet. So 
I'll just hold you there and I'll get my scope set up. I'll just get a ground on my door catch. And then with me with me other wire, so you can see here, we've got a thick blue, a red, a yellow, and a white. So all I want to know is what's on that red wire. So I'm gonna back probe it. Just in there, nice and easy. And I've got zero volts. Okay. I've got zero volts, so I've got something missing off this side that I've got on the other side. And all the other wires, so we go start on the white wire. The white wire, I've got five and a half volts. The big thick blue wire, I've got five and a half volts, so that's obviously um, just like a, a bias voltage um, with the caliper at rest not being actuated. Then on the yellow wire, which is the other thin wire I've got zero volts and nothing nothing on me red okay nothing on the red wire so what I did I just thought right okay what we're gonna do here now I've got nothing I've got something missing so I just uncovered a bit a little bit of the little bit of the conduit because they do they, they suffer right about here normally we normally get rubs through here so I uncovered a little bit of the conduit and I just give it a little tug and look what I found. You guessed it. Stevie's favourite colour. Focus. See if we can get, get that to focus. Look at that. Green, it's my favourite colour. And that goes if we if we follow the wires around. Look where it's broke. Right on the lowest part of the loom. So if I open that up there, and there she is. There's the other, there's the other part of her sneaking in there. You can just see her. And look at all the detritus that's gathered in there. So I'm going to open that loom up. Have a look, no doubt that twisted pair for the ABS sensor will be, there'll be something there as well. Look at that bad boy. There we go. Oh, a Barigani Buana, I'm sorry, Santa Appa. <laughs> no, no ground this time. We literally we just quick, quick and dirty, quick and dirty this time. Oh, Simon, I tell you what, one of them little, oh, one of them little portable mobile lifts would do. Me, I'd, I, that'd do me. That would. Yeah. So, the moral of this story. Hey, up there's Cassie. Cassie, say hello to YouTube. Cass, say hello. Have you been? What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> so the moral of this story is, is don't get phased by your fault codes and don't get phased if you can't find um, exact pin descriptions of, of what you need to find on a circuit, especially when you're doing ABS sensors and stuff like that and, and brake actuators, because you've always got an own good on the other side. So quick little recap for you so yeah will be that 7040 the red wire on pin 3 so I really really hope you enjoyed that video dead quick dead easy short and sweet and to the point we've got to keep diag simple Simply diag for a reason. It's always the basics 99.9% .9 of the time So I really really hope you enjoyed the video if you're not part of our community Please get yourself over onto simply diag.net join up as a public free member We've got uh, merch on there. We've got a training calendar on there Which obviously defunct at the moment because we're all locked down, but we've got a merchandise site over there um, a list of all our partners that we partnered up with 
there are significant discounts from from 90% of our partners including all data and diagnostic connections for SDM members so we'd love to see you over there if you like the video please give us a thumbs up if you didn't give us a thumbs down but please 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 comment why you didn't like it and then if you could drop me a comment when the video is uploaded feel free to share it thanks for watching have a great evening you're awesome